Hey everyone, this is your boy number one versus number 95. Welcome back again with another video. Today, we're, um, I might make this a new series now. Like the, no, like the Cars and Trains Fan 69 series. Uh, this is called Childhood Series. I just thought of it after I was done reviewing the Flo's V8 Cafe playset. Yeah. So uh, today we have the 2015 or 2013 Mack Hauler truck playset. Not, not, why did I say playset? Because I remember having a giant Cars 2 version of Mack. And um, the same. And then when this came along, that thing got replaced entirely. Snapped out of existence. I gave that thing away to someone that will care for it just like as much as I did before I got this Mac. Yes, yeah, so this Mac came out 2015, uh, 2013 to 2015. They stopped making the haulers uh, from Cars 1 because they couldn't just make all of these. I'm buying more haulers. We need more haulers, Mattel. I understand there's a shit ton of haulers that you want to make. I understand about the Cars 3, Cars 2. Why did I say Cars 2? Cars 1 haulers, but we need more Cars 1 haulers. Please make that happen. Listen to us for once in your lives. If you can do Wooden Railway 22, you can recreate this, okay? And by the way, Wooden Railway 2022, I'm going to buy some, some for my birthday. We're going to arrive in three days. Three days after I buy it. Yeah, so we're not going to get in that. And this thing has been badly damaged because I used to play with this guy a lot. I took this guy to church. I took this guy... I, I took him almost as many places as I could besides school because I didn't want the guys fucking with him. Yeah, actually, I think I did take him to school for show and tell, I think, for fifth grade. Hmm. Don't remember. Yeah, so this has been badly scratched because I remember sticking two Happy Meal Hot Wheel cars in here, Robin and Cyborg, I think. And the Robin, I mean Superman and Cyborg in here because... Superman had that same gimmick as the 2006 Lightning McQueen uh, Happy Meal toy when you pull them back and they use that same gimmick for the Superman thing. I don't know why they did that. Just to save some freaking money. McDonald's. Yes, yeah, so. And this thing has been recreated multiple times when he was like going on the side and McQueen was falling asleep. Oh, excuse me. And this hauler is very big. We're going to focus on Mac first, and then we'll get to the hauler. So Mac is a 1950-something Chevy semi-hauler. I think he's a Chevy semi-hauler. There's Mac truck. He's a, I think he's a Mac truck. I forgot what type of uh, truck he was. I love Mac as a kid. He's one of my favorite characters from the Cars franchise still to this day. Mac, as Holler says. Hold up. Get the better camera out. That says Rusty's 3. Can't read what the top says right there, sorry. And this says Rusty symbols on his mud flaps. He's got his his lime yellowish green eyes. He's got the um, the Mac the Rusty's logo on top. He's got his ninety five and his lightning bolt on the side. And you're thinking, did I have the supercharged version Mac? No, I did not. As in the little giant Mac hollow that was a lot more accurate than this one. Because it was so long and so tall. No, I did not. I did not have this Mac. And this Mac was the best thing I ever bought in my car series line when I was a little baby boy back in 2015. I loved this Mac. Took him everywhere. Just, just took him everywhere with this McQueen, too. Because I, I, I was like, one, I can't leave these two alone. Two, I love them too much. And three, I just like playing with them. And, um... I enjoy Mac. I used to play with him. I, I remember 
throwing him out in the snow, and my neighbor, my friend, was like, hey, one of the little, I was like, good job, Mac, and then he was like, hey, yo, one of the smoke pipes fell off, and I was like, oh, crap, it did, thank you, thank you, and then I took it back in the house, I super glued it, and uh, it's still holding on today. Sorry, I'm yeah, it, it's, it's amazing, right? And plus, by the way, I was very stupid back in the day. I used to unscrew this thing, try to take it off. Yeah. I replaced it with these two screws right here. Yeah, so on to the hauler. Now the hauler is pretty banged up, just like Mac, just like the Queen. Pretty banged up. It's been through a lot. It's been through... Six years of hell, still to this day, very dusty, very dirty. And this comes out like that, and I, I don't want to explain that. I swear to God, that wasn't me. Yeah, so I, I think that was me. I tried to wipe it off. I, I don't remember. I swear, I'm pretty sure that, I'm sure as hell, not sure who did that, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't me. But if it was, oh well. And it said, there we go. It says Rust Ease 4, just like on Mac, but Rust Ease 3. Still can't read what that tiny handwriting says up there. Might have to look that up. And on top, it's just nothing but Rust Ease. Bumper ointment. man. This thing is badly damaged. My God. I'm not giving it new stickers. I'm going to leave it the way it is because I love Mac. That's a little bit of what Leo Kim Video would say. Thomas Love. This is called Lawton and McQueen Love. I'm saying it like him. Lawton and McQueen Love with my Australian accent, mate. This is called Love by McQueen Love. And there's a lot of Light McQueen Love on this McQueen. And the way he did it was just open this. Back him up. We're going places. Piston cup. Here we come. Dynaco. Here we come, and then we back up, and we open it up, and McQueen comes out like that, and then he goes, <sighs> nigga is still asleep, going like fit, and why Mac is still asleep, sleeping on the road, and the tuners are fucking with him, and McQueen is sleeping why he hears horns and loud noise is still sleeping. He's a heavy sleeper. Oops. Oops. Just off that camera. There's a lot of noise going on outside. Pray to God they don't come down this damn street with that loud noise. Because I'm making a review. Yeah, so there it is. McQueen. And Mac. I, would I suggest you to get this? Yes, I do suggest you to get this off of eBay, off of Macari. They don't make this version anymore. They got... Hang on, let me go get him. Sorry for the stuff. This stuff. Another dirty Mac hauler. That, that is very dirty. He's a dirty boy. This is, you know, you're expecting me to have cars too. Mac hauler. Hudson Hornet Mac hauler. No, I don't. I saw that thing going for $30 on eBay. I didn't even buy it. As rare as it is, because I didn't have the money for it, and I was so pissed. But I'll find it again someday. Someday I'll find it again. You just have to wait patiently. Yeah, so in comparison, the Mac, the only difference is flame. Okay, let me just... Mac, no white play on the back, and different expression... Same mouth. Mouth is a lot smaller. Mouth's a lot bigger on this one. Mouth's a little bit smaller. Eyelids are more raised. His Mac. Okay, this one got beat up more. I don't know why. I think I was very playful with this thing. Dropped him a lot. Flame. Lighting bolt. 95 on top. 95 in the middle. Yeah. Now, onto the haulers. Boom. Cars 3 hauler has been faded. Desperately faded. Over the years. And I will be customizing these two. To have the little interior. Like from the movie. Both do the same thing. Yeah. 
Yep, same size, same height and everything. Yeah. Rusty is on top, better, worse. Uh, has been through a lot, this one hasn't. I remember dropping this thing. I remember throwing him in the in the toy bin. Uh, I, I keep him on a shelf now, but I threw him in a toy bin. I think that's how I got all scratched up and just flapping and all that stuff. Like, my goodness, this is just a mess. I might have to clean, dust these off. Oh, yeah, you'll dust them off, but you won't give them new stickers. Yeah, guess what? I'm not, I'm not, uh... The Cars remake guy, Sheriff, whatever his name is. I'm not the Sheriff Police or or the stop motion guy that made that pretty cool Light McQueen remake. That I wish I did the same thing. Yeah. So the Light McQueen is more of an of this angle. Why this McQueen is like looking straight at you. He's looking to the side on Car Street, straight, kind of like straight at you. That's a, that's kind of inaccurate just a little bit. Now I'm looking at it. Yeah, I never really paid attention to that McQueen symbol till now. By the way, I think they flipped that thing. Yeah, they flipped it. Yeah. Yeah, and the same thing goes on the other side. Yeah, see, they flipped them. They made these go this way, except the car that made it flip. They flipped it to make it go that way. Yeah, same shit. Yeah. Uh, you're wondering why, guys, you're wondering why I'm moaning like that throughout this entire video, it's because I just got done reviewing that thing, just got done comparing all these cars, this video is way too goddamn long, and I've been doing this all day, trying to get the views back up, because we've been losing a lot of people, I miss most of my viewers, at least I still got some of them left, you know, it's kind of sad. Where I had over a couple hundred people watching me, now I got only like five or six watching me. Yeah, so anyway, guys, this is your boy number one versus number ninety-five. Hope you guys enjoy the series. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.